YouTube. What's new? Well, I've uploaded a lot recently. Um, so that's what's new with me. Um, but literally, what's new with you? Tell me in the comments, please. Um, this video is going to be a law school related video. And it's going to be about... Gotta love dogs. Um, anyways, moving on, because that's not good. Mm. I love dogs. I love them. I love my dogs. I promise I do. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, this video is going to be about how I used my planner in law school and how I planned in a planner for law school, because let me tell you. My first semester, I was using an Erin Condren planner, which is expensive, um, and then I stopped using it. So, let's buckle up and learn how I planned through law school and why it helped me so much. And how I know this isn't going to be helpful for everyone, but what I want the core takeaway from this video to be is it is okay to change how your planner system is in law school as long as you have one. Have one. You need one. You cannot get through law and law school and your legal career without having a planner of some sort because dates are so, so important in the law and the legal community because you have filing deadlines and sometimes they're a month away, sometimes they're 10 days away. So you have to keep a calendar of some sort. So if you never did it in college, how did you do that? Um, start it in law school. So I used these. These are um, voice trim notebooks um, and I use the bullet journal method. So let me get into these in a bit and let me explain the bullet journal met method. So the bullet journal method is basically making to-do lists um, each day and I found that so helpful because that's how I do my planning is I make big to-do lists. I've done that since high school. In high school, I used a moleskin notebook as my main thing. I had a moleskin planner and it was so perfect for me in high school. In college, I used a Lily Pulitzer planner every single year and I tried to get it to match my sorority. Um, and I used that every year and it worked great for me in college. But then I got into law school and I tried to use the Erin Condren. I bought it in the summer. I got the extra months to fill out the full year and I liked it. I liked the concept of it, but it just wasn't working for me. And I think part of it was I felt like I had to make it pretty. I had to do the stickers and stuff and the stickers for that are so expensive and it just wasn't working for me. So I stopped using it and I threw it out. And I got this. This says 2017, but I started using it. When did I start using it? Let's find out. In April. So, can't read that. It says April. Um, so, that's when I started using this. And one of the things I really like about this is how I started using it is not how I ended up using it. Um... Because as you can see, even this looks different. And I've used this every month this year, except for this month. But things are happening in the world that have not made like planning it as important. So, why did I go to this? Well, I liked being able to do to-do lists. I like being in control of what my planner looks like. Because one of my things that I like in a planner is I like the month. I like having a month overview um of some sort it doesn't have to be a big full calendar because the thing is if it's a big full calendar I'm not gonna use it I tried doing that as y'all saw in the April thing I tried doing that and I used it exactly one time um and then I went to doing a very small calendar because that's all I really needed was just the month overview because I like my month overview starting Sunday going Sunday to Saturday but I like my weeks being Monday start um don't ask me why I've always been like that and so with 
the bullet journal system, I was able to do that. And I was able to decorate it how I liked. I wasn't like stuck to any one type of decoration. Like when I went to England, I was able to do something like this. I don't know if you can see it. I hope so. It's really pretty. Um, it's on my, it's on my Instagram, which I'll link below. Like I always do. Um, so I was able to do fun stuff, but when the system I was using wasn't working for me, I was able to change it because you're not set in stone. Like you don't have to keep up with a printed thing because you're in charge of what it looks like. So how I started using it is not what it looked like when I was studying for the bar exam, which I will show y'all. This is what it looked like studying for the bar exam. As you can see, that is worlds away from my early spreads, which all looked pretty much the exact same because I found, no, these ones don't look the same. I explored a lot when I first started, but then I kind of found my groove and what worked for me, which looked kind of like this. And I used this, this type of spread for three years because it worked perfectly for me in law school. It had enough space during the days. It had enough space for the weekends for me and it just worked really well. But then during the summers and during other times, I would move to something that was more working for me then. I wasn't set in stone and that's what I really like about it was that it was flexible. It was, it, it, it allowed me to change things depending on what my courses were, depending on what I was doing over the summer. And I really like that. And that's not going to be for everyone. It does take a bit of work to set it up. But if you want to see how my normal setups are currently, I'm doing a very simplistic set. So I write the day of the month. I write the day of the week. So, and if I have a lot of extra space, I'll draw something like I drew a pineapple here. Um, but it really doesn't take a lot. Like this is what my March looks like. You may recognize what this is, what the three triangles are, but very simple. That's the only like drawing I did. The rest is just me, my hand lettering, which I did like kind of hone a skill over the years. It's not the greatest hand lettering. There are some people out there who are really good at it. I'm not. Um, but over the year I did get, over the years I've gotten better at it, but as you, I'm going to try to find like a fancy one I did to show y'all like how it's changed from the beginning. I don't think any of my fancy ones are going to be in there. Um, a fancy one might be in here. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, here we go. Here's May. I don't do that anymore. This is from when I graduated. Yeah, as you can see, I don't do that anymore. That's super fancy. Um, this is my February one. Again, it looks simple, but it's also really fancy. And I want to actually show you an actual fancy one I did. Um, if I can find it. Oh, here we go. So this is October from the first year I did bullet journaling. <sighs> I don't have the time to do this anymore. I barely had the time to do it then. But it was really fun and relaxing. And it just allowed me to like a few hours of the day to not think about school for a bit. And I don't do that anymore. I have kind of gotten over the more fancy types and the two bullet journalers and the two people that do this the most in the planning community that I followed and took inspiration from are Amanda Rachel, which I'll link below, and um, Cindy Gunter Baldo, um, or Llamas Love Lettering, and I'll leave her stuff linked below. And I started off more like Amanda Rachel, and I, as I've gotten older and like honed in how this system works for me um and how I'm okay with changes and how I'm okay with it not being completely perfect I don't use rulers I don't use any of that kind of stuff um because I'm lazy <laughs> but I've started being more like Cindy and yeah so what's all this to say um I really just wanted to explain how I did planning in college and not college in law school because it did change drastically from how I had been planning throughout my entire life. The only similarity that I can find is the happiest time before this that I was like planning and being in my planner was when I was using the Moleskin planner and that's because it was very similar to how I do my bullet journaling. So 
why did I choose bullet journaling over another method? Because I could change how it looked. In the beginning, I did do fancy calendar pages. Now I do like a list. I do like the normal traditional bullet journal method. Um, and I've just found it so much easier for me to be able to be in control of everything that's in my planner and how it looks. And I'm not set in stone to something. I don't have to spend money to make it look pretty because I can just pick a color and just add in a little bit of accents with my own handwriting. I don't have to buy stickers. Now granted, I did have washi tape. I still have tons of washi tape. As you can see, this is all washi tape. It separates out my months. I don't do that anymore. I'm lazy. Um, I bought all, I bought stuff for it, but in the end, that stuff has lasted me longer than stickers for the Erin Condren one. And I'm not going to completely bash the Erin Condren planner system because I know it works really well for some people, but the videos I've seen online from the planner community, they really just like fill it up with stickers and they have like five lines of stuff to do. And I'm like, that's great if you're a stay at home mom, but if you're a busy student, that doesn't really work for you. That doesn't really work for me. So like... You gotta pick and choose and you gotta think of things in a better sense. Like if you've used one planner system since college and you realize you're not using it anymore, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time to try to try something different because that's what happened with me. I'd been using a, like the Lily Pulitzer I was using, I got a very similar layout in my Erin Condren. About a month in, I wasn't really using it anymore. And then by the time December hit, I wasn't using it at all. So I was like, I'll try again in the new year. And then I didn't use it in the new year. I think I used it like for the first day or two in order to remember what where my classes were and what my classes were. But I stopped using it. And then in April, I switched over to the bullet journal method and changed everything completely. And it made planning and it made just seeing things easier because I was able to put my schedule in there. I was able to plan for a few, quite three trips at least because I went to Puerto Rico, I went to Colorado, and I went to England when I was in law school. And I was able to plan for all three of those in my bullet journal. And I wouldn't have been able to do that in my Erin Condren and everything would have just been all over the place. And yeah, so if you find yourself struggling in law school with planning and with planning ahead and with writing dates down, I would highly suggest you either you get something that works for you. Um, one thing for just writing dates down is I would, you, if you have a calendar on your computer, either Google calendars, I use my Mac calendar, um, use that to like just get the dates down and then hand write it down because there's all those articles that say handwriting stuff really helps. Well, it does, especially when it comes to dates. You will be able to remember it more. And sometimes for me, I just like pulling open a book and looking at what all I have to do. Because you're going to have a lot of things to do. Like, it's not just reading. You have other things on top of the reading stuff that you do for law school that need to be taken into account. And so that all can't just be on a Google Calendar. You will get overwhelmed. Most people I know use a planner and some kind of electric calendar because the electric calendar has like all their hard dates, all their like due dates and stuff like that. Whereas the regular planner could have their to-do list in it, can have your daily tasks in it. And it really helps, especially if you're going to be super ambitious in law school and get like a position in a society, whether that be BOA, SBA, or some other society, because there's tons of them. Um, if you don't have all of that able to be planned with all your other stuff going on, you're going to get lost. You're going to forget dates. You're going to stumble. And that's something you don't want to do because that will come back to bite you in the butt. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how I planned in law school. Um, I don't think this video is very long. I don't really know. But if you have any questions, um, if you want to know more details about something, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, you can subscribe. Um, doing any like
like interaction with the city it really helps it go to other law students and other potential law students so if you want to help other potential law students please give this video a like Let, let's push it through the algorithm um that is all i got for you today i hope you have a wonderful day week month year whenever you're watching this and i will see y'all later bye